good evening. Welcome to South Asheville Church of God. So good to see you in God's house tonight. And good to have those watching online. Just let, take your liberty in the Lord. Uh, we prayed uh, several things before we prayed. Uh, can you remember the, uh, appreciate the pastor envelopes, get something for uh, Pastor Appreciation Day, put them to the uh, envelope, put an offering plate. Also, our uh, witnessing tools, these cards, South Asheville Church of God. Invite somebody to the church, they may come. If you don't invite them, they probably won't. Uh, water baptism sign-up sheet, Sunday night, March the 13th, out in the vestibule, sign up if you want to be baptized. This is, uh, it doesn't save you. It's an outward expression of what God's done on the inside of you. Uh, youth night sign-up sheet for 2022, sign up there, be a part of this. We want to keep the youth engaged. Praise God. Also, uh, I've got a lot to pray about. Uh, as we pray, continue praying for Sister Betty Garen. God will completely heal her. Sister Sandra, pray that God will completely heal her body. Pray for the people in Ukraine. They're going through a lot over there. Mm-hmm. You know, I just sat there thinking, but what if that was us? What if we were being bombarded? Mm-hmm. You know, we'd want somebody praying for us. Mm-hmm. And so let's pray earnestly for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I like to put the lesson, Brother Albright uh, taught on Sunday, you know, where Gideon, you know, he had 300 people and he was getting a multitude, but God gave him the victory. Same thing can happen there in Ukraine. Mm-hmm. It looked like Russia had just got them overwhelmed, 40 miles of uh, tanks and stuff coming their way, but that's nothing to God. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's pray for our re- upcoming revival, uh, Brother Clark and Brother uh, Shortridge. Uh, I want to praise God for touching Robert Guerin, but keep praying for him. He still needs, he's got a long way to go, so mm-hmm. keep praying for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, keep praying for Charles Chisholm and Tiffany Young. They need a touch in their body. Uh, pray for Sister Aldi. She's had extensive dental work, uh, she's having it to, uh, extensive dental work tomorrow, so pray for her. Uh, God will be with her during this. Also pray for Linda Brady. She needs salvation. Mm-hmm. Sister Blanche was telling me that she's lost her mom, her husband, her daughter, and just recent this week, this week I think her son, mm-hmm. and she still hasn't turned her heart to the Lord. Mm-hmm. Pray for her that God will just touch her, and, and you know, mm-hmm. he he he's what she needs. Yes. She he yes. needs she needs God. Mm-hmm. Pray for Sister Ball. She's uh, having a problem with her stomach tonight. Pray for her that God will touch her. Pray for Donna. She had a tooth cut out today, so remember her in prayer. Anybody else have a prayer request? Yes, pray for Brother Benny. He's a sciatic nerve is bothering him, so pray for him. God's able to touch you by this night, brother, and just heal you completely right there on that pew. Amen. Praise God. Let's pray for that. Pray for that healing virtue. Any other? Mark Aiken's got sciatic nerve problem. Yes, remember Franklin, he'll be saved, yes. Okay. Will, we'll stand and go to the Lord in prayer. Remember Patsy and Mickey, customers of Sister uh, Amy waits on that the God will touch them in their body. Okay, if Will, we'll stand and go to the Lord in prayer. Praise the Lord. Precious Heavenly Father, we just thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for this opportunity to come in your house tonight, Lord God. Be with our brothers and sisters, Lord God. Lord, we're in the church. This is the church building for the Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the Touch his name, touch his 
may yeah. be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Choose to serve God while you can. For one day, time as we know it, will be no more. God said in Revelation 22 and 11, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he is which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Verse 12 says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his word, work shall be. So, you know, however a person, when they die, when they take that last breath, how they are is the way they will be. If they're holy, they're going to be holy. If they're righteous, they're going to be righteous. If they're filthy, they're going to be filthy. Uh, you know, so make sure that we're right when we take that last breath. Praise God. Let's continue to worship and get Sister Amy come and lead us in our congregation. Victory in Jesus tonight. Amen. 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 Let's sing about that a little bit. Let's lift him up. Praise the Lord.
Glory Praise glory, God for that glory, victory glory. in Jesus. Glory, Praise glory, God. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue worshiping, giving us, get our ushers come and receive our evening offering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Jalen, you help serve. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Praise the Lord. Brother Jalen, you pray with us time of worship. God richly bless you for your faithfulness and giving. This time, y'all pray for us just to share and I as we come and minister in song. Amen. Two sixty eight. Two sixty eight. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Praise the Lord.
The battle is most won. The trumpet will be sounding the coming of the sun. I'll lay my armor down, take up my robe and crown, and I'll walk the golden streets with my Lord. Now I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I promised him that I, I would serve him till I died. Now I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Now I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I promised him that I, I would serve him till I die. Now I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. You got to stay on that battlefield for the Lord. You know, if King David would have went to battle, he wouldn't have been up on that rooftop looking at Bathsheba. We got to stay on that battlefield for the Lord, fighting that battle all the way to the end, because those enemies out to try to steal, to kill, and destroy. But this time, I'm gonna turn the service to our pastor, Brother Sheldon. to praise tonight. Let everybody stand, please. How many is on that battlefield? There's an adversary, but he is defeated. I said, he's defeated. We don't have to live like Jesus is in the grave. He's not in the grave. He's alive. The Bible said that the Lord's going to bruise his head shortly. That word bruise means to crush going to crush his head shortly. We're on the battlefield. There is a fight. And I'm glad if we'll fight, we can fight in victory. Amen? R.A. Torrey said this. He said, the reason why many fail in battle is because they wait until the hour of battle. The reason why others succeed is because they have gained their victory on their knees long before the battle came anticipate your battles that simply means be prepared to fight the apostle Peter said not to think it's some strange thing this fiery trial which is to try you oratory said anticipate your battles fight them on your knees before temptation comes and you will always have victory don't wait to try to resist the devil when he comes to you be prayed up and be prepared when he does. Amen? Amen? He brought some things to my mind today. I don't know how he talks to you, but he'll talk to me sometime. He brought some things to my mind, things to try to cause me to worry, to fear. And I was riding down the road, and I just talked to him out loud. I said, you need to go on out of here, son. You are defeated. You have no ground here. I'm a child of God. Holy Ghost fell on me. I began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance riding down the road. I told the devil, I said, I resist you. I submit to God. I'm a child of God. You have no claim here, no ground here. And I tell you, friend, he jumped out of that car. He got out of that car, and the Holy Ghost rode all the way home with me. Can somebody give him praise? Tonight, you have authority. You can talk to him like that. You don't have to coddle him. You don't have to sweet talk him. You've got power in Jesus' name. Lord God, have mercy. You've got power in Jesus' name. He comes to our mind. He talks to our mind. And I can stop him in his tracks through the power of God. I used the word on him. I said, you have to go, fella. I submit to God. I resist the devil. And the Holy Ghost came. Lord, God have mercy. Somebody give him praise tonight. Praise the Lord. I'm glad for the Holy Ghost. You don't just have to be in an altar on Sunday morning. 
to feel the Holy Ghost. And he'll come on you in the car. And I've been on my mower before and the Holy Ghost just fall on me. I've been in places and the Holy Ghost just fall on me. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. I love him, don't you? Psalms 137 tonight. We're so glad, delighted to have all of you with us. This is a wonderful church. We're good people, wonderful people that love God. You can tell when people love God. The highway patrolman was going down the road and he pulled a woman over. And she had on the back of her car, she had bumper stickers, Honk if you love Jesus. Number one Jesus fan. On my way to church, stickers. <laughs> He pulled her over, and she said, Officer, I don't understand why you pulled me over. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I wasn't speeding. I have my seatbelt on. Don't know if anything I've done wrong. He said, Ma'am, this car must be stolen because I saw the gestures you were making to that other car that run past you, and I saw you screaming at them, and I knew this car had to be stolen when I saw all the bumpers about, all the bumper stickers about Jesus on the back of it. Is that right? You can have all that and still not have victory in Jesus. You can wear a Jesus hat. You can do all those things. But you can have real genuine victory when Jesus lives in your heart. Amen. Let's pray, Father. Thank you for the victory we have. Lord God, I'm glad, dear Lord, that we're marching towards Zion. Thank you for the power of God. We're on the battlefield, but you are the captain of this army. We're following you in the battle, dear Lord, and we know that you're victorious, and because you're victorious, you are our Lord and leader, and we're victorious in you. I thank you, Jesus, for the opportunity, the privilege, the joy to be in church tonight. We pray for the sick. We pray for the lost. We pray for those that are hurting right now. Pray for those that are at home right now having to watch online that would rather be here. I pray you'll bless them just the same tonight, God. I Touch those in this sanctuary. Good to see this good number on a, on a Wednesday night. Father, I pray that you'll lift up, that you'll touch every heart, every life tonight. Lord, for the next little while, help me to preach. I need your touch, dear Lord. Uh, matters not to me whether there's two or 200 in this sanctuary. I want to preach your word, dear Lord. I pray it'll be effective. I pray it'll hit the mark. It'll touch hearts. It'll penetrate that heart, God, and it'll help us uh, as we leave this service tonight, if you allow, Father, we'll walk in victory. We'll walk with you, Jesus. We are promised victory in you, Lord. We'll give you the praise and glory for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody said amen. amen. Psalms 137, begin reading in verse 1. The Bible said, By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept, when we remembered Zion. These are people that are supposed to be inhabitants of Zion. They're not there now. And because of this, they said, we've sat down and now we're crying. We're weeping. Verse 2, we hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. The harp is a musical instrument used to lead in song. When they said we've hanged our harps on the willow trees, that means they're not singing anymore. Verse 3, for there they that carried us away captive, this is the Babylonians, required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. When you read that, it sounds like that their captors are saying to them, we want to hear you sing. That's not what they're saying. They're antagonizing them. They're mocking them. Sing one of your songs now. That's what they're saying. Sing one of your songs of victory now. The response of the children of Israel, those exiles, they said, how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land, in a foreign land? How can we sing the way that we did when we were in Jerusalem? When we were there at Mount Zion, how can we sing our songs? And so they took their musical instruments that would lead them in song, and they hung them on the willow trees, and they sat down, and they said, we don't have a song to sing, and they wept in their condition. 
May God add his blessings to his word. Would you say amen tonight? We're glad you're here. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the name of the Lord tonight. Praise God. Good to see Scott and Ashley and Lily. Appreciate them coming and being able to be here tonight. All of you, thank you. Let's do pray for those who are sick. We've got some right here. That's, I know they're watching online this evening. We, want to, we love you and we miss you. And uh, we're praying God will help you and touch you and you'll get better soon. Amen? God can do that, can't you, Sister Angela? He can just touch and, and do wonderful things. I want to preach to you tonight for a little while on this thought. Keep singing your song. Keep singing your song. They said, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept. When we remembered Zion, we hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they that carried us away captive required of us a song. They that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Sing like you used to sing. Sing how you did before. Why don't you sing now where you are right now? And they said, How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land, how can I sing with where I am right now? In our scriptures that we've read to you here this evening in Psalms uh, chapter 137, we find that the people of God, the children of Israel, have been taken into Babylonian captivity. They have been overcome by the enemy. And when you read about the children of Israel, you find that as long as they walked with God, that their enemies feared and trembled before them. I said as long as they walked in harmony with God, when they obeyed Him, when they lived for Him, uh, their enemies over and over were put to flight. They, they were afraid just to hear the mention of the children of Israel. Because their enemies realized that their God is different than the gods that we serve. It was their gods that rescued them out of Egypt land. It was their God uh, that brought them across that Red Sea. You remember when they came there to the River Jordan and the people at Jericho, when they heard that the children of Israel were there, they locked down that city for fear because they knew the God that they served uh, was a mighty God. Fear struck the hearts of those enemies as long as they walked with God. So it was with Samson. Just the mention of Samson's name called fear to reverberate throughout the Philistine camp. But when Samson sinned against God, Samson lost his power and the enemy prevailed against him. Here the children of Israel, now they've been taken over by the enemy. And they're in Babylonian captivity. Uh, the enemy has prevailed against them. We know that this victory for the Babylonians, uh, it was all due uh, to the sin of Israel. Had Israel continued to serve God the proper way, uh, the Babylonians would have been no match for the people of God. But because of their sin, uh, they were overcome. They were taken captive by their adversaries. I'm telling you here tonight, there are consequences uh, when we sin. When we sin against God and we walk in that sin, uh, it is at that time that the enemy gets the upper hand against us. When we walk in sin, when we do wrong and we know we're not to do that, uh, the enemy always has the ability now uh, to prevail against us. If it were not true, it wouldn't be in the Word of God. When the children of Israel crossed over that Jordan River, the first city they came to was Jericho. And the Bible said they marched around that city. They shouted. They did obedience. They were obedience to God. And the city walls fell down flat. And they conquered Jericho. 
But the Bible said when Achan sinned against God, when he disobeyed the Lord, when they went on to the next city, they sent a small army there, and 36 innocent men lost their lives. Ai gained the victory over the children of Israel because of sin. There are consequences to sin. I didn't come to preach this tonight, but I want to stay here just a moment. I don't know how in the world anybody thinks. I, I can play with sin. I, I can practice sin. I, I can do wrong continually. I, I can walk in disobedience to God. I, and I'm still going to walk with God. I, the enemy is going to flee. I, he's not going to overcome me. I, I'm going to make it to heaven. The Bible says in Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death. When you get born again, you got to get out of the sin practicing business. I said when you get right with God, you and I cannot continue to sin day after day. I cannot continue to practice a sinful lifestyle and think I'm going to march in victory. I'm going to sing the victory songs. All sin must be confessed all sin must be repented of and all sin must be forsaken and when I live that way I tell you my friend there's not enough enemies on this earth there's not enough spiritual powers to prevail against the child of God that will walk in obedience to the word of the Lord somebody say amen now the children of Israel, the enemy has prevailed against them because of their disobedience to God. You want victory, stop practicing sin. You cannot practice sin and walk in victory at the same time. If you want victory in Jesus, stop playing games. Stop practicing sin. Stop living a sinful life. Get it under the blood and then live by the word of God. If you mess up, don't wait till Sunday to get it right. Stop what you're doing. Get it right right then and walk on in victory. Somebody ought to say amen tonight. I'm telling you, we sing the song, there's victory in Jesus, victory in Jesus. But no man and no woman can walk with sin in their heart and their life and going to sing that song and walk with that kind of victory uh, sin must be dealt with uh, sin must be destroyed uh, and then you and I can walk on uh, and we can sing the song uh, I've got victory uh, in Jesus Christ my Lord the Bible said that now they are at a disadvantage now they don't have the strength to prevail when the Babylonians come and they are overthrown, and now they've gone into captivity. The Bible said they brought their harps with them. They remembered the songs that they used to sing. There is nothing more sad, nothing more miserable huh, than trying to live in the middle of the road. There is nothing more sad and depressing uh, than trying to serve God and call ourselves a Christian uh, and still trying to live for that world uh, and live for sin out there. I tell you, friend, you can carry the harp. You can remember the songs. But if you play them with that word, you're not going to be able to sing those songs. You're going to be sad. You're going to be despondent. And eventually, you're going to be destroyed. So it's better to go ahead and deal with that sin. Deal a death blow to it by the power of God. And go ahead and sing your song. Go ahead and march on in joy and victory knowing I, I am his and he is mine. The Bible said they broke their harps and they remembered the songs. But now the enemy's taunting them and the enemy's saying to them, now why don't you go ahead and sing one of those songs that you used to sing. The Bible said all they could do was take those harps hang them on the willow trees and declare how can we sing while we're here where we are while we're in this condition I wonder anybody ever been there before the old enemy stood up over you and breathed upon you 
breathed out threatenings upon you. I'm not talking about because of sin, uh, but because you're on that battlefield uh, and you're serving the Lord uh, and the enemy wants to bow his neck. Uh, he tried to bow his neck today with me in that car uh, and the Holy Ghost broke his neck uh, and I left him behind. Uh, he bows his neck. Uh, he makes his threats. Uh, he breathes out threatenings uh, against us. Uh, he accuses us of things uh, that we haven't even done. Uh, he lies to us. Us. He tells us we're not even saved. We're not worthy to live for God. We're not worthy to be saved. Let me tell you something. We're not worthy of our own being. We're not worthy of our own ability. But we are what we are by the grace of God Almighty. And Jesus Christ has made us worthy to be called sons and daughters of the Most High God. The devil's a liar and he's the father of all lies he stands above our life and he breathes out threatenings against us and he tells us he gonna destroy our family he gonna destroy the church he's gonna annihilate our homes he accuses us. He lies to us. He threatens us. He tells us he's going to kill us. Let me tell you something. He's so big and bad and he can do all those things. How is it you and I are still standing here now? He's been telling us that for years now, as long as you've been serving God. Well, if he's so rough and tough, if he's so big and bad, how come he hadn't done that? How is it you and I are still standing here in victory lane? How is it you and I are still marching? How is it you and I are still singing the songs? I'll tell you how it is, because the Bible said greater is he that's in you, greater is he that's in me, than he that's in the world and if God be for us who can be against the child of God somebody say amen tonight the devil threatens us he attacks our minds he attacks our families he comes against us and tries to back us down I tell you we ought to get some righteous indignation about us we ought to stop living like whipped puppies I know we don't do it here, but some people do. We ought to stop living like whipped puppies. You know, just spiritual weaklings, no strength about us. I'm telling you, friend, if Jesus Christ is living in your heart, there's not a devil big enough. That third of the angels that fell, that took the devil's side, amen, they're not big enough to stop a child of God. I said they're not strong enough. They're not mighty enough. They don't have enough power to buy Bible said one of us uh, can put a thousand of flight. Uh, two of us have got the power uh, to put ten thousand of flight. Uh, we ought to walk in that power. Uh, we ought to walk in that confidence. Uh, we ought to walk uh, in that victory uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, somebody give him praise tonight. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and cheerlead you all night. I'm just telling you. We need to get our feelings off of our sleeves. We need to stop dragging our swords in the dirt. If you're living right, then you ought to walk it right. If you're living right, you ought to be able to bow your neck. If you're living right, you ought to be able to square your shoulders and say, oh boy, I've heard all the lies I'm going to listen to. I've listened to all your threatenings. I've listened to all your abuse. I've listened to you taunt me and say, look at where you are now. Why don't you sing one of them songs, Christian? I believe I'll break out in a song. I believe I'll let the devil know I've got victory in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Put your hands and give him praise and glory. <laughs> ah, God. So square your shoulders and bow your neck. You tell that devil, get behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I'm not going to listen to any more of your lies. I'm not going to let you rob my joy. I'm not going to let you have my song. I'm not going to cause, let you cause me to be discouraged and defeated and despondent. Sometimes we ought to just get mad. We ought to get righteous indignation and we ought to stand our ground, draw a line in the sand and say I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to fight for what God's placed in my life. You cannot have what God has given me. Now the devil saying to them, why don't you sing your song, Christian? Why don't you sing like you used to sing? How you remember how you used to be? You remember how it used to be when you was living in the land of joy and the land of peace. Lord God. The, listen, I, I saw an article today. i got to be careful not be mean here tonight. I saw an article today uh, of Christians in Ukraine. You know what they were doing? Uh, they were on their knees in a circle. I mean, a, a large amount of Ukrainian Christians, uh, and they're praising God, uh, and they're praying and seeking the face of the Lord. Uh, amen. It looks like the enemy is going to annihilate them. Uh, Forty miles of the enemy lined up, uh, heading right toward them. Uh, what are they doing, Brother Benny? Uh, they're praising God. Uh, they're talking to God. Uh, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, uh, I'd love you to see you do what you did in the Old Testament. Uh, then they were my 300 in Gideon's army. Uh, amen. But you uh, discompeted the adversary. Uh, I'd love to see God uh, do it right there in Ukraine. Uh, some of them are calling on him. Uh, he hears their cries. Uh, he hears their praise. Uh, he's an old time God. Oh, yes, he is. He cannot fail. And here we are in the land of freedom. The land of liberty. The land where we don't have to worry right now about a, a, an army, an enemy lined up 40 miles. Can you imagine? Can you imagine tanks and the enemy lined up all the way down the bypass, down the interstate, uh, from here all the way on past Greensboro, uh, about 10 miles past, coming this way. Uh, I'm just telling you, friend, uh, you and I, uh, we hadn't had to worry about anything like that. Uh, we haven't had to deal with anything like that. Uh, here those people are facing death, uh, possibility of their children dying, uh, their wives dying, uh, but they're on their knees, uh, and the description said they're praying in God and they're praying. I'm just telling you friend, that old devil that comes our way if you're a child of God if you're living right if you're loving him right you've got a right to stand up and declare your victory and sing your song the Lord gave it to you don't let the devil take it away God gave you that song. And the devil says to you, why don't you sing now, you poor, pitiful little Christian? Look at where I've got you now. I've got you backed up in a corner telling you everything he's going to do to you, telling you what he's going to do to your family. <laughs> don't you hate the devil? I sure ain't afraid of him. Telling you he's going to take you out of here. I'm going to take everything you got. You know, you're not going to make it. You ain't going to be able to serve the Lord. And we sit there and we entertain his lies. Lord God, have mercy. We won't pay attention to the message, to the word of God. But we'll sit there and entertain the devil for hour after hour. We can't sit and listen to preaching for an hour straight without our minds wondering on something else. But we'll sit and listen to every word 
word that devil lies to our mind. I want to tell you something here tonight. If you're a child of God, you don't have to take that anymore. I said you don't have to take that anymore. You've got a right to stand up, to stand your ground, and to march on forward and lead the devil there in his lies and sing the song that God has placed in your heart. Hallelujah to God. Oh, my, 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 my. Put your hand, saints of God. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, somebody praise the Lord in this house tonight. What more do I have to do for you to prove myself to you, saith the Lord? What more do I have to show you? What more do I have to move in in your life to prove to you that I am your God? To show you that you are victorious in me. Have I not answered your prayers? Have I not made ways where there were no way possible for you? Have I not moved upon you in the night seasons of your life? Have I not healed your body when you were sick? Have I not rescued you even before you cried out to me? Have I not been your God? Have I not been true and faithful to you? What more do, must I do to prove that I am your God and that I give you abundant victory? What must, more must I do to show you that I care for you? and that I have made ways before you ever arrive at those places. I am God. I am your victory. I've showed you over and over. Walk in that victory that I've given you, saith the Lord. Who come? Ha, 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 ha. ha, 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 ha. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Stand all over this house of the Lord tonight.
Somebody obey him tonight. Somebody just go ahead and get beside yourself in this place tonight. Some of you just need to sing your song again. Go ahead and do that here tonight. Some of you need to declare your victory in Jesus again. Go ahead and do that right here, right now, tonight. Some of you need to stand up and tell the devil, you're not going to get my song. I'm going to keep on singing. I'm going to keep on rejoicing. I'm going to keep on serving my God. <laughs> Some of us need to get our sword back in our hand again. Need to get that word lifted back up again in our lives. Get that sword held back up again. Walk in this victory that Jesus has given to us. says what you gonna do now sister Tina what you gonna sing now all oh, these things are going on in your life these difficulties are arising things are going backwards what you gonna, let me hear you sing now why don't you let him hear you sing your song why don't you let the devil again hear and let you know let him know that you've got victory in Jesus let it ring to the raptors I said let it ring to the raptors sing the songs of Zion again.
<laughs> Hallelujah to God. Shandala Moho Tamahai. Oh, God of glory. Shandala Moho Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Woo. Ain't that matter tonight in this house tonight. Ain't that matter in this house tonight. Shata maha kandala maha. Anybody here afraid of the devil? You don't have to live in fear. We don't have to live frustrated. We don't have to frustrate the grace of God. Keep on singing, child of God. Keep on singing your song that God gave you. It implies victory. It implies joy. It implies peace. Keep on singing, child of God. When the adversary says, sing now, Christian. Sing now with what's going on. Keep on singing, though, child of God. Because it implies I've got victory in Jesus. Keep on singing, child of God, because it shows the adversary. I've got joy like a river. Joy like a river. <laughs> Keep on singing, child of God, because it shows the adversary. I've got a peace that surpasseth all understanding that's guarding my heart and my mind through the power of God. Keep on singing, child of God. When the adversary says, why don't you sing now, Christian? Thank you, I believe I will. He's put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto God. I want to obey the Holy Ghost here tonight. You can participate or not. It matters not to me. Scott, do me a favor, son. Knock them blocks off of those doors right there. And let those doors come closed, please. Prop those outer doors open, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord's taking you there, Sister Tracy. He's taking you there tonight. He's taking you to that high ground tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, those Ukrainian Christians. Your life is on the line. Made me think of Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16. That at midnight they prayed and sang praises unto God. Their life is on the line. They may die here. They're going to pray and sing praises unto God. <laughs> Woo! We're going to do a Jericho march around this place. Everybody that's able to and willing to. I want us to be just as quiet as we can be. There's some things in your life that's erected itself, that is, has that is set itself to keep you from moving forward. Making progress with God. Israel could go no further until Jericho fell. Didn't matter how much beyond that the beautiful land there.
they could not go any further until that Jericho wall fell. That was the very first city that they faced. And sometimes those things that stand direct in our lives that look mighty big, bigger than we are, they can sure cause us to lose our song and cause us to hang our heads down and to drag our sword behind us. I want you, if you're tonight, we're just going to circle in here, just right around through here, just make a line. <laughs> and on about that 13th time, we're just going to shout and give God praise and victory for some things that's going to fall down flat in some of our lives. We're going to leave here tonight with our joy again. Listen to me, friend. We're going to leave here tonight with the peace in our heart again, with that fear removed, with that song again that says, uh, not just singing in the choir victory in Jesus, but I'm walking in that victory with Jesus. Would you just make a line? Just one behind the other. Come on, if you need to social distance, do it. But just make a line. Let's just start right over here. Let's just march around inside this place about 13 times. Jaden, I want you to lead it, son. Just stand right there in front of your nana. And I want you to go that way. And I want everybody to fall in line behind. No, no, we're going to go the other way. We're going that way. We're going that way, Jalen. We're going that way. Everybody fall in line behind Jalen. Jalen's our Judah. Praise goes first. Judah means praise. And the Bible said Judah is going to go first. I want us to march about 13 times if you're able to. <laughs> Jalen, I will just come right down through here, son. Every time you get that door, count it off, okay? Till you get to that 13th time. I want you to think about the things that's tried to discourage you. I want you to think about the things that's attacked your mind. Think about the things that's tried to hinder you and hurt you. That's what I want you to meditate on. That's the things that need to fall here tonight. That's the things that need to come down here tonight. you're marching, you thought about those things. Now I want you to think about God. I want you to think about the Lord that saved you. The prayers he's answered. The miracles he's worked. The times he's proved himself over and over and over to you.
Hallelujah. 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 Keep marching quietly till he says 14. Last time, seventh time in that seventh day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And on the fourteenth time. Joshua said, shout, for God has given you the city. God's given you the victory. And the Bible said the walls fell down flat. I give him praise and glory.
Lift up your hand tonight. If you're able to. I want you to thank the Lord. Still have my soul. I still have my soul. And I'm going to keep on singing. <laughs> I'm going to keep on singing. Hallelujah. I'm going to keep on singing. No matter what, I'm going to keep on singing my song. You put a new song in my mouth. You put a new song in your mouth. And we're going to keep on singing those songs of victory. Songs of Zion. Adversary is not going to get your song. I'm going to take that from you. We are marching. We are fighting. We're on the battlefield for our Lord. But we can sing while we march. We can sing while we fight. The harp was an instrument used to accompany the song. When they hung their harp on the willow tree, they said, we're not going to sing anymore. That's what they were saying. They hung that harp and they sat down and they wept and they remembered the songs, how they used to sing. We don't have to live looking back, friends. We can have that victory right here, right now, and marching that daily. Daily. Not just Sunday morning and Sunday night. You get a Wednesday night feel good service and then tomorrow you, you're not singing again. But marching, fighting, and singing while we go. Singing while we fight. Can you give him a hand of love and appreciation tonight? <laughs> I'm going.